After displacement time graphs, we are going to study about velocity time graphs. What are these velocity time graphs? As the name suggests, velocity relation between velocity and time is v upon t is equal to acceleration. Okay, so we are going to find out acceleration in this case. Fine. So the very first uh, type is when we are talking about constant velocity. Fine. So let us suppose that an object has it covers three meter. It is moving. and it covers uh, it it has a velocity 3 meters now before that uh, on x axis we have plotted time which is in seconds and on y axis we have now plotted velocity because we are talking about velocity time graphs and velocity is in meter per second so let us assume that the body is moving with velocity 3 meter per second let us suppose that it started with velocity 3 meter per second at 0 second its velocity was 3 meter per second at after 1 second the velocity is same which is uh, 3 meter per second after next 1 second the velocity is same and again after repeated 1 seconds the velocity remains the same so if we join these points okay so what will we get if we join these points on the intersection of both the axes what will we get we will get a straight line and as we can see in this figure in this graph that this straight line is parallel to the time axis so we can conclude that when now we know that acceleration is change in velocity upon change in time but in this case velocity is not changing it is constant as 3 meter per second so this term will become zero fine so this acceleration will be zero so we can say that we when we plot velocity time graphs of constant velocity the acceleration this will be the case of zero acceleration and what are we getting we are getting a straight line which is parallel to time axis and it represents the constant velocity and hence the zero acceleration fine so this was a case of zero acceleration now we will talk about constant acceleration it is also known as uniform acceleration according to it the body should cover equal uh, velocity in equal intervals of time so as we see in this figure uh, at zero uh, seconds the velocity was zero but as the uh, uh, body started moving after one second its velocity became 1 meter per second again after one more second the velocity became 2 meter per second covering one more second the velocity became 3 meter per second so we can say that the velocity increases with time and also velocity increases at a constant rate okay it is increasing 1 meter per second in 1 second fine so that is why we can say that the velocity is increasing with a constant rate and if we join the uh, intersection points of x and y axis what will we get we will get a straight line inclined to the time axis fine so in this case also and this type of acceleration i have already told you the acceleration in which the velocity increases with time at a constant rate is known as positive acceleration so this is the case of positive acceleration now next we are talking again about constant acceleration but now what happens let us assume that body was moving with 4 meter per second but after 1 second this body uh, has now Th uh, velocity as three meter per second. Now again, after one second, the velocity decreases to two meter per second. Again, after one more second, the velocity decreases to one meter per second. So by this, we can say that the velocity here decreased decreases at constant rate. And I have already told you that when the velocity of a moving object decreases with constant rate. then abid time this is the case of negative acceleration and we also call negative acceleration as retardation or deceleration and if we join the intersection of x and y axis these points what are we getting we are again getting a straight line so uh, and this straight line is inclined 
ओके सो वी आर अगेन गेटिंग इनक्लाइंड स्ट्रेट लाइन इन केस ऑफ नेगेटिव एसेलरेशन फाइन नाउ लास्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेलोसिटी इफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज मूविंग सो देर विल बी वेरिंग एसेलरेशन ऑल्सो सो नॉन यूनिफॉर्म और वेरिंग एसेलरेशन इज वेन द वेलॉसिटी मूव्स विथ वेन द ऑब्जेक्ट मूव्स विथ डिफरेंट वेलॉसिटीज फाइन एट डिफरेंट टाइम इंटरवल्स एट सिमिलर टाइम इंटरवल्स इट हैज डिफरेंट वेलॉसिटी कंसिडरिंग दिस केस एट जीरो it has zero velocity zero in zero second it has zero meter per second velocity but after 1 second it covers the velo uh, it has velocity of 1 meter per second but again after 1 second the body has velocity of 3 meter per second again after one more second the velocity is only half meter per second fine or we can say 3 and a half meter per second so by this we can see that we are not getting uh, after uh, joining these points on intersection of x and y axis we are not getting a straight line so we can say that in case of non uniform or varying acceleration we are getting a curve and not a straight line so these were the cases of velocity time graphs the first case was constant velocity or we can zero acceleration the graph we got was a straight line parallel to the time axis second was a case of constant acceleration but we are talking about positive acceleration here and we got a straight line inclined to time axis next was the case of constant acceleration but negative acceleration and we got the straight line inclined to the axis last is the case of non uniform or varying acceleration and we are not getting any straight line in this graph we are getting a curve because the body has unequal velocities in equal intervals of time